Now we are ready to look at separation theorems for convex sets. And what does this mean? Separation of convex sets. This means we're given two convex sets. For example, those two, C1, C2. And we want to find a, a hyperplane which separates these co uh, two convex sets. So in, in our example here, this is a two-dimensional example. The hyperplane is a one-dimensional line and uh, it has two sides and C1 is assumed to be on one side and the other set C2 is on the other side. And um, it, it turns out that uh, this is a very useful property of, of convex sets because um, some, um, uh, as, we, as we shall see, we can formulate conditions, for example, for the existence of solution of, of, of certain convex problems um, as, the, uh, as condition to separate two hyperplanes, uh, two convex sets by a hyperplane, and the normal vector to the hyperplane will then be the solution um, to the problem. Um, so this is a separation. In general, uh, this will be um, will be n-dimensional, and then the hyperplane will be will have um, co-dimension one or dimension n minus one, and it will will also have two sides on one of which the one the, the first convex set will be, and the second convex set will be on the other side. Um, another case will be a strong separation. And this is um, as follows. We're given two convex sets. And we want to find a hyperplane um, also with, an, with some certain normal vector such that um, we can find space around the hyperplane uh, which is not occupied by any of these sets. So we can um, we can basically put a sandwich in between and we will still not, not uh, touch these sets. Um, obviously strong separation is a stronger property than separation. You see uh, whenever we have an intersection here um, we might get a case where we, where we don't find a strongly separating hyperplane but we will also see that strong separation in general uh, requires one of the sets to be compact or, or bounded um, in, in finite dimensions. So um, let's dive into it. And um, the first case will be the strong separation of a point and a convex set. So theorem. And this will be, as I said, strong separation between um, point and set. So let again H be our finite dimensional inner product space. We are using our projection lemma so that um, we, uh, we will need finite dimensional in order for the proof to work, uh, finite dimensionality in order for the proof to work. In general, um, this, these separation theorems hold for much more general settings, but you cannot prove them the way we are doing this, just to let you know. And so let's see B uh, non-empty convex and closed uh, set and let x uh, be in h minus c. That means, uh, in case that you, you don't know this is minus, so not in c. So then um, let's also draw a picture here. So we have a set c and we have a point here. And what do we want? We basically want 
and uh, the, the hyperplane um, which goes here and here, those have the same, since they are parallel, they will have the same normal vector and um, then it will turn out that there is a gap here in between which shows our strong separation. How can we express this in formulas? Um, let's see it like this. So w whenever we have y and c, we can take the inner product of a, our normal vector, in and y. So then there exists a in h. Um, I, will, I will come to, to, to this later. Um, so that uh, whenever we have this, um, since a points towards c in our, in our picture, we want this to be greater than a of, of x. Not only that, um, we want this to be greater than um, for all y and we want to have this gap. So uh, the, the smallest possible thing for this, for, for this inner product, so the infimum over y in c, this will be like this point here. This is um, as, as far back uh, as you can go with, with, uh, with respect to a. So the infimum of this should still be greater and not equal to uh, the same thing um, at the point x. Okay, and we can we can even um, write uh, f since since the the length of the vector a does not really play a role here, we can um, uh, we can even set this to one, and then we get this result. Okay, let's prove this. So the key to this will be um, given by this projection here. So we have proven the existence and the uniqueness uh, of this projection here, this projection point. So let P be the projection of x on c. What do we then have? So by um, the projection property, so we have characterized um, this uh, in the proof, in, in the last theorem, in the last video. So we have Whenever we have y in this set C um, minus p, p minus x, then we have that this is greater or equal than zero. Okay, so we have the y here. This is the y in C, so this is for all y in C. So we want the infimum of this y with a vector a should be greater or equal than the, 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 the inner product of the same vector a with x. So how do we do this? Um, it is clear that, that the only inner product of y is with p minus x. So set um, a to p minus x, and since we want to have, the, uh, we want to get norm one, we um, divide by the norm of p minus x. So this, um, yeah. So uh, this is not not equivalent. Uh, so this implies that norm of a equals one. And what what do we also have? We have. Um, a with y is uh, 1 over norm of p minus x, uh, inner product of p minus x with y. 
And inner product of p minus x with y is greater or equal than inner product of p minus x with p. And this is equal to uh, 1 over norm of p minus x, um, inner product of p minus x with p minus x, um, plus inner product of uh, or 1 minus norm of p minus x, inner product of p minus x. Uh, since we have invented minus x here, we have to um, balance this equation by, by adding x again. Okay? And this is equal, so this does not uh, go here. So this is equal with, well, uh, this is norm of p minus x squared. So this is norm of p minus x here, norm of p minus x squared divided by norm of p minus x plus 1 over p minus x. And here we have, ah, I don't, well, this will be, p minus x is still equal to a times norm of p minus x. This is actually what we want here. Um, so let me correct this. So this is inner product of a with x. And we see we have this thing here. So um, by the way, let y in c, uh, y b in c. So whenever we have the inner product of a with an element in c, we are greater or equal than no inner product of a of x plus norm of p minus x. And since um, p is in c, this is the pro uh, one of the properties of the projection, and x is not in c, we have that this is greater than zero. So because p is in c and x is not in c, so they cannot be equal. Okay, so now we can use this and say the infimum over, over all these things since we have this inequality for, for all the things, then the smallest possible of, of these values is still greater or equal than a of x plus norm of p minus x. And therefore, uh, properly greater than a of x, so not equal. So, um, yeah, this um, concludes the proof of the, uh, of the strong separation theorem between a point and a set.